It may be a circle or a rectangle or any shape, but this is how you can express the proportion of selected parts. To do this, we can use the method of fractions. Hey everyone, welcome to the Easy Maths channel. Today we are discussing what is a fraction and what it looks like. In simple words, it means a part of a whole. Here are some visual examples to help you grasp the idea. Suppose we have a circle. Furthermore, how about we split the circle into two equal parts? So what part of the circle is coloured? There are two pieces of the circle and only one of those two sections is coloured. So we could say that one of two portions of the circle is coloured. Now let's look at another example. Suppose I have a circle and I split it into four equivalent parts. I hide three parts, so what part of the circle is shaded? Here to illustrate the fraction, three of those four parts are shaded. This will be written in the form as three quarters. Presently, let me give you another outline. Suppose I draw a circle and I split that into six equal parts. Now three parts of the circle is shaded. So we know that there are six sections, moreover, the circle is separated into six equivalent parts, and just three of those six sections are shaded. Therefore, three-sixths of the circle is shaded. Here we have a rectangle. This rectangle has been split into eight equivalent parts. Suppose one, two, three, four of those parts are shaded. The other four parts are left unshaded. What fraction of the rectangle is shaded? So there are eight parts and four of those parts are shaded. So we could say four eighths of the rectangle is shaded. In this example, a rectangle is shown. This rectangle is split into nine equal parts. Now one, two, three, four parts are shaded and five parts are left unshaded. If we were to express the number of shaded parts in a fraction, we could say that there are a total of nine portions and four portions are shaded. So the fraction would be written as four over nine. Four out of nine parts of the rectangle is colored. Let us go for one more example. Here are five shapes as shown. Triangle, circle, semicircle, square, and rectangle. Let's count the items here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now count the shapes which are filled with color. One and two. To express in the form of a fraction that two shapes are filled with color, we can write the fraction as two-fifths. Let's look at the fraction of colored and non-colored shapes. Here, the circle is divided into eight parts. Five parts of the circle are colored, and three are non-colored. To express the fraction of colored parts, we can use five-eighths, and to express a fraction of non-colored is three-eighths. 